वेलकम बैक माय अमेजिंग यूट्यूब फैमिली वेलकम बैक टू अनदर थ्रिलिंग एपिसोड ऑफ टू मिनट्स एवरी फ्राइडे आई एम एब्सल्यूटली अमेज टू हैव यू हेयर विद मी टुडे एज वी डाइव इनटू अ टॉपिक दैट गोइंग टू टेक योर एक्सेल स्किल्स टू द नेक्स्ट लेवल टाइम सीरीज एनालिसिस एंड गेस्ट वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू बी यूजिंग रियल डेटा फ्रॉम वन ऑफ माई मास्टर क्लास the best ceo or executive dashboard in excel if you are interested to see how this incredible dashboard comes together just check out the link placed in the upper right corner trust me it's a game changer let's get right into the heart of the matter time series analysis is like having a crystal ball for data it lets you to unlock the patterns trends and insights hidden within your information in our best executive ceo dashboard you can notice the sales by a month you can notice in in feb may and november we have less sales when we will be diving into next year so we will be planning how to get more sales or how to get the maximum share from the market we have to plan for feb may and november basically this is called a historical or you can say this time series analysis if you are working in any social media agency or you are working in energy sector in retail store are you working for any website are you working for stock trading public transportation currency exchange or in any any crime department in all of these sectors you can apply this time series analysis for example let me talk about the retail store so retailers listen up discovering quarterly foot traffic fluctuations can help you to optimize staffing and promotions for maximum impact so this is one of the example so as per my this data we will be checking that how we can make the time series analysis from this specific data so first of all i'm going to right click on it unhide and i'm going to my data so uh, this is my data and i will be copying this data to new sheet copy control n for new workbook you need to press control alt v from your keyboard this dialog box will pop up and here i will be selecting this values okay so uh, i will be selecting uh, this show tabs and so this is my data so now i'm going to insert a pivot table insert pivot table from data range okay so from here i will be selecting my this month to rows and my profit to my values so basically this is showing me the month by month profit this is called the historical data so now if i'm going to insert from here i will be using my this chart and uh, right click on it hide all field buttons select this one press delete from your keyboard increasing its width from here i will be selecting data labels control b time series analysis comic basically comic is my favorite font so all the time i will be using this one bold it and uh, i want to change its background color to this one and font color to this one and i will make this arial right click on it and hide all field buttons selecting this one and uh, removing the grid line selecting the grid line and press delete from my keyboard so basically this is a time series analysis here i can track the trends even i can add a trend line here for example i want to add this linear line so uh, basically uh, this linear focus line suggesting me the forecasting it is saying the sales must be between this section 22000 if the sales are less than 22000 that means there is some problem uh, in that particular days so i did that time series analysis on the basis of month and you have to perform this analysis on the basis of days semi year and on the basis of quarter and here you have to replace this month with days semi year and quarter and you have to perform the time series analysis and if you did that you have to mention this thing in the comment section that you perform these all time series is analysis more you can add slicers in it as per your requirement for example if i want to check this time series analysis for on the basis of states so uh, i will be selecting my this one and now if i will be selecting any of my state so this my time series analysis will be sliced as per my selection so uh, you can click here as per your requirement what you need from the data more i'm double clicking on my this chart so i will be performing some uh, custom formatting and i will be visiting my this section and I'm selecting these of my elements a uh, fill and you can select your color as per your requirement more uh, i'm selecting this one and more uh, you can visit to uh, this border section solid fill and you can change 
the border color as per your requirement for example i'm selecting here the black one and i'm increasing its width to 3 more i'm selecting my this i can change the background color to black so now i'm going to cut it and i'm adding one sheet here and i'm pasting it here and i'm going to insert i'm going to slicer from here i will be selecting state market market size product type product type year and month so i will be adjusting all of these slices with reference to the space i have here on my sheet make it 6 I'm selecting all of my these slicers and I'm going to this slicer from here I'm going to align align to top and distribute horizontally I'm selecting all of my these slicers and I'm going to slicer align vertically so now I'm going to this my page layout from here I will be selecting this blue green so now I'm adjusting it to 1 or 10 and I'm going to my this view section and from here I will be selecting this grid line to uncheck. I'm selecting my this title and I'm visiting this home. It's background color to red and black and make it white. So this is my time series analysis. Now I can slice with this all with the help of my slicers. If I want to check the data for only 2010, I can select this one. So it will slice all the data with reference to this here I can if I want regular I can select this regular this one coffee central so uh, this is called the time series analysis I hope you got my point you got this time series analysis and you will be making this time series analysis whatever the sector you are working as I already mentioned few of them so finally we have completed this my incredible audience time series analysis in excel is like having time traveling super powerful data it's not just above numbers it's about understanding the story they tell our time remember the best executive ceo dashboard in excel is the gateway to mastering in this invaluable skill so make sure to check out the link above and explore the magic of time series analysis for yourself as we wrap up this episode of two minutes every friday i want to remind you that learning is a journey and each skill you acquire is a step toward your personal and professional growth keep exploring keep analyzing and keep pushing your boundaries thank you so much for joining me today and until next time keep excelling and keep learning the new things see you soon in the next video goodbye